It looks like snow. It's actually just frost. No worries, we're okay. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas Eve-ish, I think you're watching this. Yep. Before I leave Pigeon Forge, you can see I'm on the banks of a, a beautiful river here. Yeah, it's very pretty here. Also very cold, and um, I am making a stop that I've been, well, this is actually a bucket list stop. Before I even got on the road more than six years ago full time, I had been seeing YouTube videos posted on Facebook and other platforms of the Alpine Coaster. You'd see point of view with like GoPro people. You, know, you probably know which one I'm talking about. This is the longest mountain coaster in the entire United States here in Pigeon Forge at Alpine Coaster. Uh, the longest. There's a lot of uphill and then you come down. It's a two-handed operation because you got to break around the curves and uh, unlike Dollywood they do allow cameras so I've got my GoPro chest mount. I'm gonna go get in line, pay my admission, and then uh, take you guys along. How's that sound? Let's have some fun. That was awesome. How fantastically fun was that? That lived up to every piece of anticipation. I'm so glad I made that stop. Uh, on the way out, this is like the difference between parks, which just amazes me. She thanked me for, for taking video and then asked that everyone who took vi video post it to their social media and tag them because that helps drive business to it. Obviously, right, again, nothing against Dollywood or anything. I just don't get it. Absolutely no loose clothing or articles of any kind, but a safely mounted GoPro on your chest that can't go anywhere. I mean, it, this ain't going nowhere. My sweater's not going anywhere. My shoes are staying on my feet. I understand to an extent, but pretty awesome. And no magnets. I did talk to the manager. I asked them, I said, you know, it'd be great if you sold um, a magnets. Sell magnets, I would have bought one. Did get a picture though. For 10 bucks you can uh, take home a little folder here and then you get a picture of yourself going down making a funny face. So maybe I'll turn that into a magnet. Cut myself out on it and turn it into a magnet. Fun, fun stop. But now I gotta say goodbye to Pigeon Forge. Like I said, I will be back. There's so, so much to see here when it's better weather, possibly this spring. We'll see, we'll see. Let's head on down to Gatlinburg and have some fun there too though. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we head out of Pigeon Forge, there's some eye catchers here, a giant castle over here, and <laughs> how about the uh, Hollywood Wax Museum here in Pigeon Forge with a giant looking Mount Rushmore, but those aren't presidents. Good enough, I, I see Elvis. I think that's John Wayne right there. And 
I don't know the other two, sorry. Who, who, who are those? Chaplin, that's Chaplin. Help me out here, who's the gal? I'm drawing a blank. Let's go inside, see what they got. It's 25 bucks to get in, but you know what? I love the uh, wax creations. <laughs> that's great. Jack, Jack Nicholson. Looking good, buddy. Morgan Freeman. Get busy living, get busy dying. Angelina Jolie. Robert Downey Jr. Holy crap, Leonardo DiCaprio is tall. Really tall. We are going to die. Indiana Jones. And then Jack Sparrow. That's pretty realistic, right? And his sidekick, Orlando. Mm -hmm. Stare at these long enough, you wonder if they're really going to come to life. Some are good, some of them are not so good. There's Charlie Chaplin, a pioneer of uh, comedy and video. What you got there, Elvis? Those are my favorite, thank you. <laughs> Hugh Hefner, you dog. <laughs> oh, Robin, we miss you, buddy. Mama says life is like a box of chocolates. Isn't that right? Ellen DeGeneres. Hey. Upstairs, we got Sean Connery. I think that's from uh, Hunt for Red October. And Vin Diesel. Ryan Reynolds. Look at the detail. <laughs> Sometimes they freak you out, because you, like my perfect old vision, I just think they're real people. <laughs> Channing Tatum, Jason Stateman. Some people say I kind of look like him, even though I've got puffier cheeks. I don't know. <laughs> I love the King Kong down there. That's great. Rogan, my second favorite comedian behind Jim Carrey. Yeah, you weren't quite as good as your daddy. You guys want real racing? I'm into real racing. Ricky Bobby! <laughs> that might be the worst one though. That does not look like Will Ferrell, does it? I don't know, maybe a little bit. Good effort though. Jack Black. <laughs> Gotta have some Rocky and some WWE, John Cena. These aren't even real weights, Rock. Bill Murray, one of the greats. <laughs> See what I mean? Some of them are a lot better than others. Adam Sandler. And another Will Ferrell. This one's a little better, actually. I am actually taller than one person in here. Kevin Hart. <laughs> He's hilarious. Snakes and dinosaurs. Could only be Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Charlie's Angels. I heard the uh, remake didn't do too well. Aw, oh, Melissa. <laughs> she looks so real. I feel like I just re reach out and hug you. <laughs> That's great. John Travolta and say what one more time, Samuel L. Jackson. Whose shotgun is this? I'll be back. Oh, dude, get, get your face checked. In Star Trek, they even added me as a wax creation. Oh, that's great. I love it. Nice job. Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, of course, Dolly Parton, and Carrie Underwood. Clint Eastwood. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> of course, John Wayne. Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson together. Then they exit us out to the gift shop where I need a magnet. Oh, but first, Michael Jackson. <laughs> not bad, but they actually did not have a single magnet that said Wax Museum, Hollywood Mac Wax Museum. They had a whole bunch of movies, but I decided to opt out and get one later. I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get a couple magnets. There's a, one that says Pigeon Forge with the bear. I need a Gatlinburg one too. All, most of these say Great Smoky Mountains. I want to wait till I actually go to the national park to get a Smoky Mountains one, but I'll get the Pigeon Forge. Yeah, I think I'll get the uh, funny bear, Gatlinburg. Aw, the Gatlinburg Snowman with some delicious pancakes. <laughs> some more happy snowman from Gatlinburg. We're finally downtown Gatlinburg for Christmas, everyone. I love it. Nice little Christmas town. We made it. Skylift Park. Rolling up to the top. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go to the top. Wondering uh, how many people's shoes or belongings we're gonna find on the ground below. It would be cool if there was snow, but. And we are number 70. 
Whew. Look at the river below. That's awesome. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. What's up there? Coffee? Hot chocolate maybe? You also get unlimited rides till 10 p.m. tonight, so I can come back at night if I wanted to. Look at the water. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to be heading out of Gatlinburg at 5 p.m. I'll wait till it gets dark and maybe put on some miles after the rush hour traffic gets done, you know? That's pretty fun. We're now going like straight uphill, by the way. I mean, like straight up into the sky. Okay, my ears just popped. Can you tell how steep it is? I'm holding the camera level right now, and we're like almost going straight up. Look behind us. This is actually a really long ride. I've been on it for like eight minutes now. We're still climbing. Oh my gosh, look at Gatlinburg. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's been rebuilt at some point, and they just left the old platforms there, right? And just rebuilt new ones. Yeah. There's the lodge. I guess that's where we get off. Hi, folks. We're about to take your picture, so oh, right take my picture? Smile. Okay, we'll smile. <laughs> okay. Let's get something warm to drink. I'm pretty high right now. Uh, seat behind me. We're up here pretty far. Ooh. That really hits the spot, by the way. You can see this bridge behind me that people are walking on. That is the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the USA, in the country. So I visited the, the longest downhill coaster, and we're going to go walk that in a minute once I take care of this. If you look around, I am the only person anywhere in this entire city wearing a t-shirt. Everybody else is dressed like we're in Colorado in the winter. <laughs> kind of cracks me up. You know, I'm walking, I'm burning calories, so I'm... I'm staying warm, except for right now when I'm standing here, drinking some nice hot chocolate, which is delicious. Some may not like it. Let's take a look at downtown Gatlinburg here. <laughs> All right. Yep. Smoky mountains off in the distance. But before we go on that bridge, it's ironic. I've seen a lot of videos that looked really beautiful, and now they're logging the area kind of sucks yeah just tearing it up all right let's go sky bridge time one thing worth pointing out this bridge really sways a lot not like the Comaneros galloping Gertie but that's, that's just me standing here that's some that's other people doing all that that's crazy look at the views though downtown Gatlinburg uh -huh. Also, you know, all the times I go somewhere and it's like totally empty. I've seen a lot of videos of this bridge in Gatlinburg. I've never seen this bridge this busy and packed with people. A lot of people on the bridge. Yeah. So if we take a look down here. Isn't it crazy to think they just built a whole town in the middle of the Smoky Mountains there? That's neat. All right. I've seen enough. I've shared it with you. Got to find something to eat. I'm hungry. I don't feel like cooking in the RV, so... Find some comfort food downtown Gatlinburg. All right, let's at least get one shot of going down. Straight downhill. All right, my RV is somewhere way on the other side of that thing, way over there. <laughs> Actually, while it's up at the top, I found out some things, you know, about the bulldozer and the clear, clear cut thing. No, there was a fire here in 2016 and they rebuilt this. So you can kind of see fragments of fire that, that burned through this. So jumped the gun a little earlier there talking about logging it. No, they're just cleaning it up. All right. If there were a national chain burger restaurant that was my favorite in the entire country, it would be Five Guys. I don't really like chain restaurants, but they make a bad burger. Look at that guy. Oh man. It is delicious. You would like it. Ooh. And ironically, the first time I had a Five Guys was in Florida, where burgers are boss. 
They're good. They're really good. Look at that sucker. Look at that. Just just look at it. Just just love it. Just look at it and love it. Oh my gosh. I love retro pinball machines. And they got so many in here. Star Trek, Star Wars, Hobbit, Ghostbusters, Beatlemania, the original Batman. There's Wizard of Oz. Twilight Zone, The Addams Family, and Walking Dead. Okay, I don't know what this is. Wheel of Death? Uh, a lot of weird stuff. I'm heading back, gonna work off some calories, go check in on Jax. All right, I'm back, grabbed a coat. I probably should have had a coat, but you know, I was trying to keep moving and not need it. Um, I have been keeping one little thing from all my YouTube viewers. My, my Patreon subscribers know what's up. Um, but I, some, you know what? Just go inside. Oh, Merry Christmas, little guy. Little him so precious. So let's have a quick little chat here. <clears throat> because some things were not um, as I expected coming into this area of the Smoky Mountains. Don't get me wrong, not to take away from any of the awesome that I loved part of it, but there's no snow, first of all. Last snow I saw was up in um, Illinois in uh, November. Okay, so, and it's bitterly cold, keeps, keeps freezing my pipes, no running water or anything here, and then as soon as precipitation moves into this area of Tennessee, the temperature raises 40, 50 degrees, and it just pours rain. In fact, I'm going to admit to you that when I originally got to Pigeon Forge and checked into KOA, I actually purchased up front a three-day Dollywood ticket and spent four nights at the KOA. For three straight days, it poured and almost flooded in the Pigeon Forge area. And I was just stuck inside the RV. I'm like, this is not what I had in mind for Christmas. Let alone the fact that Christmas is, any holiday is tough for me when I'm alone. I'm not really alone. I have you all on the other side of the lens, but you know, it's different. It messes with my emotions. So to say that things have not gone as I planned or expected is the understatement of the entire Christmas season. But what if I wanted to make a change and do something different? Well, sometimes I have to, I don't have to defend myself, but I should let you know, Eric, why are you going that direction? That's the opposite of where you said you were going to be for Christmas. That type of stuff is what I'm talking about. So... I'm going to put on about six hours of driving after the sun sets and after traffic dies down. And I'm going to be driving for a while. In fact, I think I've got 10 hours and 52 minutes of driving in the next two days. But, you know, it's good for me. It may not be good for you. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to vlog from where I'm going. It's in Orlando. And... You know, hey, I think I'm about just taking a whole week off and getting back to you guys in 2020. Let me know in the comments below. Would you like for me to uh, vlog and talk with you this next week where I'm going down south? Or should I just take a break? L let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Of course, if you don't like the video content, you can just wait till January too. But maybe I would like the vacation also. Maybe I need the vacation. Just to go in and enjoy it. So, so that's, that's what I'm going to be doing in the next couple days. Well, while you guys do Christmas, with the delay, I'm going to get there Christmas Eve. It will be my very first ever Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve in the uh, Disney parks. Our first. It's our first. So, anyway, got a lot of traveling to do. I want to make some coffee and, and stay alert while I'm driving and be careful. I'm in no rush, but uh, if you don't hear from me on YouTube, you know where to find me. Instagram. I'll be posting some pictures. And of course, Patreon. I'll be posting some video clips here and there and some pictures over there too. So Merry Christmas, y'all. Enjoy your time spent with your loved ones, family, friends, and all that in between. Um, Jax and I will... What are you even... Really? He's like, what the heck, Dad? Slides in. Well, we don't need it out all the time. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Okay. I gotta feed the kitty, so. <laughs> Alright, guys. Take care. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye, guys.